As D.A. Carson said on the back, this may prove to be the most important book you read this year. And I amen that statement. If you read this book, apply what it says. Hey guys, Joe here, back to the word today with a short book review of this work right here, How to Memorize Scripture for Life from One Verse to Entire Books. Just out recently from Crossway Books by Andrew M. Davis, or Andy Davis, as many know him. I read through this, wanted to share it with all of you. Scripture memory is something that is really close to my heart that I disciplined myself when I was younger to do. And I really think, as I read this, this is the best kind of resource that I've run into for Scripture memory out there. Not just on why Scripture memory is important, but how to actually go about doing it. And so I want to share this briefly with all of you. I'm also going to do a longer kind of deep dive video into this work that'll be linked in the description as well. This is Back to the Word. My channel exists to equip and encourage you to read the Bible, good books, and have conversations that truly matter. If you're down for that sort of content and want others to see it, hit that like button. Also hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss a video from me. So let's hop into the review portion. I really love this. It's a booklet. It's only about 50 or so pages of reading. I read it in one day. It was so good. As D.A. Carson said on the back, this may prove to be the most important book you read this year. And I amen that statement. If you read this book, apply what it says, and get into this spiritual discipline of hiding God's word in your heart, it may be the most impactful book that you read uh, of the year when you pick it up for the impact it's going to make in your life over the lifetime of use. So with that, let's hop into my normal review segment. So first up, who is this for? This is for any Christian wanting to hide God's word in their heart. It is an encouragement. It is a challenge to memorize God's word, to hide it in your heart, and to keep it there for all of your life. I'm excited about how accessible it is. This isn't just for older Christians, mature Christians, young Christians. Any Christian can benefit from this book. And he actually gets into practical helps and how to do it and suggests a method and some other tools that could be an entry point for those who are not used to doing scripture memory. Uh, who wrote it is Andy Andrew M. Davis, or Andy Davis, as he's commonly known in certain circles. Um, he has a PhD from Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. He's the senior pastor of First Baptist Church of Durham, North Carolina, North Carolina, and founder of Two Journeys Ministry. He's also the visiting professor at Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary for church history. He's a council member for the Gospel Coalition and a former trustee for the International Mission Board. He's the author of several books. And he's also, he and his wife, Christy, reside in North Carolina and have five children and three grandchildren. And you can find more out online about him. But great dude, Andy Davis, really excited. And one thing I was excited about when I read this is he's made over 37 years, uh, 37 year habit of studying God's word and memorizing it. And he's done that in the midst of having a busy life. It's not like he, he you know, um, he had to be disciplined to do it, and it will take hard work from us, and he's very clear about that. So what stands out? I just mentioned a few things. Let's continue through it. First, that the author of this work, Andy Davis, has been memorizing God's Word for over 37 years. Since he got saved in college, shortly after that, he tells us in the book, was on a missions trip, got kind of stuck on waiting for a bus in Africa, that was going to be a long time getting there. I believe that's the story. And he was sitting there waiting and it's going to be multiple hours. And he's like, why don't I redeem this time by memorizing the book of Ephesians? That's where it start. He started. He continued that through college. He continued that through seminary, has continued it through his pastorate. It has 37 years. He's been passionate about scripture memory and memorizing scripture. And because of that and his method, he has um, memorized at the time of this video and the writing of this book, I know because of a podcast he did in January 2024, that he has memorized 46 books of the Bible. Let that sink in for a second. He has memorized at some point in his life 
46 books of the Bible. He does have a method where after you've memorized them, you've held on to verses for a hundred or so days, you keep moving so you can treasure more of God's word in your heart. But you can easily go back, study a bit, and start retrieving those things. And he's made it through 46 books of the Bible. What an inspiration. Um, he is a pastor. I talked about visiting professor and leads a full ministry life. You think five kids, um, a bigger church to pastor and involved with these different ministries and even leading his own ministry outside of the church, the two journeys um, dot org. There's just a lot that he does. And to keep this discipline of scripture memory is quite an inspiration and speaks to the importance of it in our life. Also, I thought the layout of the book really stands out and is helpful. He spends the first three chapters covering uh, how God commands us to memorize, why memorizing is important, and also the common excuses and, and why those don't hold up and why we should get through those even when we have those excuses. Uh, then he spends chapters four through nine. They're not very long, um, each one, but four through nine, getting very practical and teaching us how to do it. Um, even the table of contents here in the book talks about uh, memorizing individual verses and memorizing books. He advocates for chapters and memorizing whole books of the Bible so we understand the context and, and get all of God's word into our hearts. He talks about getting started in chapter five, daily procedures and how to memorize books of the Bible and what your daily regiment will look like in chapter six. He talks about dealing with common three common challenges in chapter seven and then also eight about kissing the book goodbye after a hundred or so days of memorizing a certain these sections of verses. You drop them off so you can continue memorizing God's word to learn other books, and then nine, memorizing long books and memorizing faster and segmenting those in different seasons of your life. It also ends, uh, just to talk about something else that stands out, is he has an appendix. At the end, appendix one covers the number of chapters and verses in each book of the Bible. Very helpful. Uh, I'll be coming back to that resource often. And then appendix two has a, a sample plan for memorizing Ephesians. Anyone that he disciples and leads and encourages to do scripture memory, he encourages them to start with Ephesians. It has 155 verses. If you do one a day for six days a week and you retain that, you should memorize the book of Ephesians. I believe he says in there with a little bit of extra room just to make sure you succeed in about six months or so. So he has a sample plan in the very back of just how to do it. And so I find it very practical, but also very encouraging resource. Cut right there. Not sure how long that was, but there's the short review. I'm gonna be doing a deeper dive video into this, talking about my own experience with Bible memorization, as well as covering just a little bit more from this book and read it for you, his story. And so I wanna share that with you guys. So that video is gonna be linked in this video once it comes out in the description. Um, I also wanna say if you're looking for resources on scripture memory, I think this is one of the best ones out there. Um, 72 pages full, but only about 50 pages of reading, super helpful. You might already have something else on the shelf that is really good and encouraging for scripture memory. So I wanna take some time to say, I've done another video on my channel on Bible intake from chapter two, I believe it was, of this book right here, Donald Whitney's Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life. This is a classic in Christian disciplines, not just scripture memory, but the breadth of disciplines, prayer, Bible intake. You, you talk about it, it's in here. Chapter three, he spends a lot of time talking about scripture memorization and scripture meditation. And so Andy Davis treats memorization and some meditation in here and talks about how they're integrally linked, they're separate, they're different disciplines, but they are linked together. And Don Whitney does a very similar thing in chapter three of this book. So you might have this already on the shelf, go pull it off. Just encourage ourselves to memorize God's word, to hide it deep in our hearts. It is extremely profitable. So with that, uh, like, subscribe so you don't miss a video. Help others see this content. Check out the longer video if that interests you. Until next time, God bless, and I'll see you guys soon.